gathered here to celebrate a very special love between Sarah and Nick by joining them in marriage. All you have to do is simply love one another and that shows through everything you do for one another, how you treat each other in good times and in bad. Love isn't just a word, it's an action. Love isn't something you say, it's something you do. Love is genuine, honest, open, compassionate and kind, passionate and blind. Love doesn't know space or time, nor does it look through jealous eyes. In college, we both went to California State University, Bakersfield. Um, she sat a couple seats down for me, and uh, we just hit it off. Um. I had noticed him in some of my classes, and it cracks me up because I remember the first class I saw him in, and he was completely quiet in the class, which Nick is not a quiet guy, <laughs> and it just took a little bit to get to know him. Up joining PRSSA, which is a club that she was in, just because she was in it. Um, there was only a handful of people, and uh, it was an uh, entry into getting to know her, so I joined the club. <laughs> so pretty. There's a big shed. It's it's beautiful. It should be in there. Inside. Sarah and Nick love one, one another romantically. And they do, you can see it. In every look, every touch, every moment that they are with each other. They also love one another as friends. In fact, they're best friends. Taunting, teasing, and very plainly and obviously having fun with one another. as these two individuals are joined as husband and wife. The new journey will be at times richly rewarding and extremely difficult, but most importantly, it will be a journey that they take together. Marriage is much more than signatures on a legal contract. Sarah and Nick, you are promising in front of all these people that you that you want to be with one another, not only for the rest of your lives, but until the end of time. Nick, as you look into Sarah's eyes, please say your vows. Sarah, I love you from the moment I first met you. You were the most beautiful woman I've ever seen. You have given me everything I've ever wanted. I'm looking forward to spending the next end of time <laughs> with you. So I love you and thank you for saying yes. I oh, haven't, yeah, yeah, but thank you. <laughs> so, go, go, you're up. That was awesome, Nick. That was really good. 
Sarah, as you're looking in, <laughs> into Nick's eyes, please say your vows. Nick, five and a half years ago, you completely captured my heart. I was undeniably captivated by your contagious, fun-loving personality. As we stand here today, soon to become husband and wife, I can attest that you have since captured my heart and continue to do so each day. Nick, I love you so much. Thank you for being my best friend. Thank you for always being patient with me and for loving me for who I am regardless of all my imperfections. There isn't a day that goes by where you don't put a smile on my face or make me feel like the most fortunate woman to have you as my other half. Today I choose to commit myself to you, Nicholas Reed, before our families, friends, and God. I commit to cherishing you as well as our moments together now and forever. I commit to always providing consolation when the Denver Broncos lose. Don't remember that recently. <laughs> as well as your excitement when they win. I commit to always respect you and hold you to the highest regard and to be there for you when you need me. To comfort you and encourage you and to help you reach your goals. I promise to stand by your side in times of distress, knowing that we will walk together hand in hand and heart to heart. I choose to make these commitments today and for the rest of our days. I choose you and choose you as the person with whom I will spend the rest of my life. Nick, as you place this ring on Sarah's finger, please repeat after me. Just as this circle is without end, my love for you is never ending. Just as a circle is without end, my love for you is never ending. With this ring, I take you to be my partner for life. I offer you my heart, my hand, and my love. With all that I am and all that I have. I will honor you as my wife forevermore. I will honor you as my husband forever. Nick and Sarah, you have expressed your love for one another through the commitment and the promises that you have just made. It is with these in mind that I pronounce you husband and wife. You have kissed a thousand times, maybe more. <laughs> but today, the feeling is new and it's fresh and it's awesome. No longer simply partners and best friends, you have become husband and wife, and now you can seal the agreement with a kiss. Today, your kiss is a promise, and Nick, you may kiss your bride. So, with the power vested in me, I pronounce you Mr. and Mrs. Nick Reed. <laughs> Tonight, I see two very amazing, beautiful families. Uh, coming together, and I think that's what marriage is all about. I think Nick and I, uh, when I looked back at it while I was sitting down trying to type this up, was uh, we were both raised to understand um, true love and respect. And I knew when Nick and Sarah bought their first house uh, together that Nick must have looked at Sarah the way that like my dad Justin looked at my mom Tammy, and the way that Sarah's dad Rick looked at her mom Janet, and the way Nick's dad looked at his mom. And like in that moment, you knew for a fact that you loved Sarah and you wanted to be with her forever. And for that, I respect and love you so much. Because that's amazing. When you have a sister like I do, you think no one will ever be good enough. No one will ever love her as much as I do. It's the greatest feeling to know that the person you have loved and protected your whole life has found a partner that push, that puts her first no matter what. Nick, you get it. Nick gets her. He makes her laugh and he makes her hope. And I'm so excited to call you brother. Thank you for giving me this honor as your maid of honor. 
Vince said that children learn from the examples of their parents. I can honestly say I've learned from you. I've learned that the glass can be half full, not half empty. I've learned to give someone the benefit of the doubt. I've learned to put others before yourself. And I've learned to be humble. Sarah, I really don't know how anyone can love so much, love someone as much as I love you. So to Nick and Sarah, today, today is your magical day. Be there for each other. Take care of each other. Love each other through the good days and the rough days. Always keep God in your heart. Look around you. We all love you, and we will always be there for you. So everybody, if you can raise your glass. Toast to Nick and Sarah. I'm blessed, Julie and I are blessed to have these two um, in our lives, so I'll keep it short and simple, but I just want to say I love you, Nick, and I love you, Sarah, and I'm proud to call you my daughter-in-law, and Nick, I'm proud to call you my son, so thank you.